Bloop a doop a doo. Bloop a doop a da ba Hey everybody, Michael here to give you a short review of Shining Force. Shining Force came out in 1992 for the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive. I never had a Sega growing up, so I first got to play this game with the Nintendo Switch Virtual Genesis console. I was excited to play some games that I'd never played before, but I was a little disappointed in my first outing, which was Shining Force. I didn't finish the game. I got to the beginning of chapter 7 and then I basically completely lost interest. It's possible that the game gets better from here on out, but I doubt it, honestly. Shining Force is a tactical RPG. To be fair, this already isn't my favorite genre of game, but this is no Fire Emblem, Ogre Battle, Final Fantasy Tactics, or Ark the Lad. The first Fire Emblem game predates Shining Force by two years, but apparently the developers of Shining Force were not inspired by Fire Emblem, but instead by Dragon Quest. If you say so. I really don't love the story of Shining Force. I could imagine people might excuse that by saying that many games of this time don't have great stories, but we know that it's possible. Final Fantasy IV was released the year prior. Maybe tactical games of the time don't have great stories, that I'll buy. But we know that they can be great from future games like the Ogre Battle series, Final Fantasy Tactics, Ark the Lad 2, and more recent Fire Emblem games. The characters are a mixed bag. Max is a silent protagonist, which I almost always find dull. A few of the heroes have interesting characteristics, like Pell, Ernest, Henri, Koichi, Blue, Zylo, and my girl May. But most of that interest disappears as soon as they're actually in your party. Kane and Michela are somewhat interesting villains, but they don't go quite all the way to being great. The NPCs are mostly dull. The graphics and design are both pretty great, though. I love the character portraits and how nice the battle animations are. It's cool that there are no completely generic party members like there are in most tactical RPGs. Everyone in this game has their own look in their portrait. Then we get to sound. The sound effects are fine, but this is some of the worst video game music out there in my opinion. I might like it more if there were just more of it and we didn't have to hear the same music constantly. The gameplay fares better than sound, but is at the same time more frustrating. Why is every action done with the same button? I would at least have really liked having one button that we use for talk and examine without having to choose which of those things I want to do, come on game, and another button to open the menu for things like items. Speaking of items, the inventory management is also frustrating. I understand how it's more realistic and adds some challenge to the game, but that's a challenge that I am not here for. Way too many towns have paths or doors that can be blocked by a wandering NPC, and you just have to wait and hope they get out of your way. The battles mostly play well, but it's not very well explained that you do need to level up. And it's not even explained how to do it. For instance, I didn't know that you retain experience when you escape from battle, so I didn't know that I should just be escaping from battles repeatedly. The difficulty also ramps up a little more than I would like, and by the time I died on the first battle in Chapter 7, I was just done. Too difficult for me to find it fun, and not enough interesting to keep me invested in the game. This game was received well when it was originally released, and I can completely understand someone who has nostalgia for this game loving it. In my opinion though, if you're considering picking up this game for the first time, I'd suggest you skip it unless you're a tactical RPG superfan. I give Shining Force a 68%, or D+. So obviously that's just my opinion of the game. What's yours? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a like, subscribe to our channel for more reviews and discussion of media. Our upcoming reviews are TV in 1989, which will be here on YouTube, and a playthrough review of Final Fantasy V on our Facebook page. A link to the page is in the description if you want to play along with us. Thanks for watching, and maintain your groovy selves.